thank you for joining us. We're still in the third epistle of John. Today we're going to go down a little bit. We're going to go down and we're going to be looking at verse 11. And verse 11 said, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that does good is of God, but he that does evil has not seen God. John's reminding us that don't, don't follow evil. And when we look around our society today, evil is always vying for our attention. Evil and sin are always saying, hey, look at me. I'm close at hand. I'm easy. I'm approachable. As if there's nothing, no consequences. He says, don't do that. Do good. Follow that which is good. Do that which is do that which is based on love. Do that which draws us closer to God. Do that which is good. Because see, if we do that and we follow what we try, not to say we won't stumble, not to say we won't fall, because we will, but get up and say, I'm still going for what is good. I'm not going to sit here and languish in this mud puddle of evil. I'm going to get up, dust myself off, and move on to what is good. I'm going to keep moving forward. Stumble, get up. Fall, get up. Stumble, get up. Fall, get up. Whatever the case is, each day we're going to strive for that which is good. Having no time. Looking not at evil. Listening not to evil. But recognizing evil for what it is. Something to distract us from our place with God. Something trying to take us off the path to God. Something who's trying to take us off of our eternal right for place with God in heaven through his son Jesus Christ take our eyes off the cross as if it's not important we can't replace the cross with a globe and think that it's okay we need to make sure that we still are looking at the cross because at the cross I have hope when I look at the cross I see possibilities when I see look at the cross I know that I have opportunities when I cross I know that I have blessings when the cross through the cross I know that I have all that I need because of the cross I know that there is a place for me. Because of the cross, I know that I am beyond somebody. I'm a child of God. So today, we're going to look and not follow. We're going to keep our eyes on Jesus. We're going to keep an eye on his cross and receive what he has for us and look forward to the exciting life that he's going to lead us to and lead us through until we make it home. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.